Welcome to Pump Tech Online Technical Support. This video will assist you in rebuilding your 114T pump head. To complete this task, you'll need a 114T kit A, part number 10001, a kit B, part number 10014, a 3 16 inch hex wrench, and a clean towel. Please note it's recommended that both kits be changed at the same time to avoid uneven wear. Using your 3 16 inch Allen wrench, turn the bolt counterclockwise. Note that the quarter inch nylock hex nut has a pocket molded into the pump head so a wrench will not be needed. As you turn your bolt counterclockwise, the nut will drop to the bench. Repeat this step for the next five bolts. Lift off the manifold and lie it upside down on the workbench. Remove the four poppets, four springs, and four o-rings from the pump head and dispose of them. With a clean towel, wipe your valve and o-ring pockets to ensure that there is no debris that would cause your o-rings not to seat. Pull the two heads apart and remove the plunger. Slide out the retainer plate. Using your finger, remove the plunger guide, seal ring, and Teflon O-ring. Dispose of all parts except the retainer plate. It is not a part of the kit and will be needed for reassembly. With a clean towel, clean the sill area of the pump head to ensure that there is no debris that might prevent the plunger from sealing. Repeat these steps on the remaining head. Insert the seal ring into the Teflon O-ring and lay them flat in the sill area of the pump head. Lay the plunger guide smooth side up on top of the seal and o-ring and press firmly with your thumbs to push the seal and o-ring in place. Slide the retainer plate in place on the pump head. The opening on the retainer plate should line up with the plunger guide inside the pump head. Repeat these steps on the remaining pump head. Apply a thin layer of super lube to one end of the new stainless steel plunger. Insert the plunger into one of the pump heads. The cutout slot on the plunger should face away from the valve pockets on the heads. Repeat this step on the remaining head. Set the o-ring onto the o-ring pocket of the pump head. Using your finger, smooth the o-ring into the o-ring pocket and repeat this step with the next three o-rings. Twist the spring onto the poppet and insert the four assemblies as shown.
Note the installation of the spring and poppet assemblies. Two of the assemblies are spring side up and two of the assemblies are spring side down. The assemblies must be installed exactly as shown in order for the pump to function. Turn your manifold over and you'll see that the pump manifold is marked with in and out on the pump ports. The inlet ports will go over the spring and poppet assembly spring side down. Place your manifold onto your pump head. Place your one quarter inch nylock hex nut into the molded area on the bottom side of the pump head and thread your pump bolt into it. Repeat this step for all six bolts. Using your 3 16 inch hex wrench, tighten the bolts firmly. Note that over tightening the bolts can cause damage to the pump head. Turn your pump head over and using your thumbs move the plunger back and forth to ensure that it moves smoothly. Put a thick layer of super lube in the cutout area of the plunger. Install your pump head on your pump motor with the inlet ports down. Insert your four bolts with washers and tighten firmly. Congratulations on successfully rebuilding your 114T pump head. If you have questions, please feel free to give us a call at 866-857-7078.